What's up, my people? Welcome back to the Furman Dynasty. Following the conference championship victory against Arkansas State, we're moving on, baby. It's time for the bowl season. But first up, let's chuck it up to the Heisman winner, Steve Slaughter from Baylor. 400 carries, man. Putting your boy through all that pain. Getting them 2,400 yards, though. 23 touchdowns. That got to be a NCAA record. I don't know. He won that thing by a landslide. You had Cooper, the quarterback from USC. He was down there about 300 votes away. But everybody else was out of the way, yo. No chance for him. And we got invited to the All-State Sugar Bowl. And look who we are facing, man. The South Carolina Gamecocks, man. That team took us out last year in the regular season. Hurt my boy Robbie, took him out for the rest of the season. And, you know, kind of deflated our hopes of getting to a BCS Bowl game. But we got a second chance at him, baby. It's going to be revenge. Let's get to him. And you can see my boy Hart got the Bednarka Award. Did his thing. Sanchez won a Bronco Award. And another one, a Rotary Lombardi Award for Sanchez. He been doing his thing. And Hart got the Linebacker of the Year Award. And Thomas... The return of the year, man. Just give it to him before the season even start because he does it, baby. He does it. And Coach McGruff got the Coach of the Year award, man. A great year for the Furman Paladins. So the national championship game will be between USC and Oklahoma State, yo. I was surprised Oklahoma State went undefeated, yo. That was that's surprising to me. But this game probably won't be close. USC, all A's, Oklahoma State, B pluses. But USC lost two games. Oklahoma State, top three in scoring, man. But USC is right there on their tail at the fourth spot. The running game from Oklahoma State, top notch. I was thinking this team maybe was like a passing team, like of old, like how they used to be back in the days. But I see things have changed, and they play some pretty good defense. But USC... Throw that ball, baby. They throw it. 250-plus average a game. Hey, you got to watch out for them. So we led all teams this year with all Americans. We have my boy Sanchez on the first team. McCutcheon, Hart, and Richards. All those guys made it. In the second team, we had Terrell, Bennett, Williamson, and Hogan. Man, we did our thing. And in the Sun Belt, you know, we're going to have a lot of all-conference players. And Raleigh leads the board, baby. 200 carries, 1,000 yards, baby. 15 touchdowns. That guy's a surprise, man. And I hope he comes back next year because that'll give us some veteran leadership in the backfield because we're going to have a new quarterback next year. And Raleigh will be a great relief for us when things get rocky. We can just hand it off to the big boy and let him do his thing. And we, you know... The rest of our team filled up most of the Sun Belt spots. And Robbie Clark, man, who I believe was the best quarterback in the conference, ended up getting a second team voting. And he got in there on the second team, him and Robinson. I figured those guys would have been like first teamers. But now it's time to check out the conference stats, yo. We had my boy Robbie Clark, one of the top quarterbacks in the conference. He led all quarterbacks in passing yards. 3,400, we could have easily got 35, but this game right here will put him over 3,500. Then you had James behind him from Louisiana Lafayette with 3,300. He got injured, so you know he could have easily been the conference leader. And you got Kelly Brown in the third place spot with 3,000 yards. The most passing touchdowns came from Cedric Smith, a scrambler, yo. On paper, he's probably the second best quarterback in the conference. And on to the running game, man. You got the Georgia State Panthers running back, Mark Johnson. He led all running backs with 1,200 yards. Gore was right there behind him with 1,100. And my boy Riley, third place with 1,000 yards. We had 3,000-yard rushers in the Sun Belt. And my boy Riley, yo, surprised a lot of people this year. Like I always said, don't sleep on our running game. We finally got it right. And Johnson had 16 touchdowns. He led all running backs, and Riley was right there behind him with 15. You know, Dow, we went up against this guy last week. 
1,300 yards. I know he was the conference leader in receiving yards. And you got McDaniel right behind him with 1,231. Even though Dahl had the most receiving yards, he didn't have the most touchdowns. McDaniel had the most touchdowns with 13, but Dahl was tied for second. And on the defensive side, the sack game, my boy Sanchez led them all with 11 sacks. Second place was Harrison. He had 9.5 and Rowe with 8 of them. And the leader in interceptions was Austin Davis. I remember when we tried to recruit this kid, he said, nah, I ain't going to firm. If he would have came to us, he would have had at least four conference championships. But he went on to ULM and didn't get anything. So five for him. And Fulton had five and James had five. So they tied for the first place. So now it's time to talk about this game against the Carolina Gamecock. On paper, talent-wise, they got us beat. But we have the bigger heart. Their offense is powerful, man. Top five total offense. The running game, top 15. 251 yards average on the ground. We got our hands full. So the top rush defense goes up against one of the best rushing attacks in the nation. The Gamecocks finally got over the hump and won themselves a SEC championship, man. It's been a hard time for them, but they finally made it. And we won our fifth conference championship last week. We own the Sun Belt. They might as well name it the Furman Conference because we own this thing, baby. We ready to move it. So checking out the schedule for the Gamecocks this year. Started off the season kind of rough. A conference battle against Mississippi State, which they got killed. Everyone thought this season was over. But they came back and beat the Georgia Bulldogs 24-19. Turned around and lost to Oklahoma. Then they lost another game to Texas A&M. And then lost to Kentucky. These guys started off the season 1-4. and four. Everyone counted them out and they went on a eight game winning streak to close the season out, yo. Ended up beating everyone else, got into the conference championship game and took care of them. My goodness. I, I'm surprised they even made it that far. That's what you call a heroic season. That's what you call not giving up, bro. So now it's time to get it going here in the Sugar Bowl, man. The Gamecocks come out here as the home team, and we're ready to go. So we played in the Sugar Bowl earlier this season against Tulane. And we, we you know, we kind of familiar with the stadium, so we know how things work pretty well. And we're ready to get it going, so let's see what they got on their first drive. Andrews hands that thing off to Jones and there go Jones the guy we were scared of and worried about he's out there making it look easy here early and Andrews gets that one out of the way like I told you bro he don't make many mistakes he'll get it away from the defense immediately he's not giving up many sacks and he's not going to turn the ball over that much and he's taking shots early man 0 for 2 so far but he's taking chances, yo. I can see that. So third and 10 here. We got a chance to get a three and out. And Andrews rockets that one. You can see the arm on the kid. But ain't no complete passes for him. Our defense is playing pretty well. So we come out here on our first drive. We go hit him with a play action fake. We know they blitzing. And Robbie, he's missing his targets also. So second and 10. We're going to try to get something going in the passing game once again. We see the running back and... My goodness, he threw it over his right shoulder. It should have went to the left. So we're going to hit him with a screen pass this time. See if we can get something there. And Thomas almost gets the first down. So it's going to be fourth and one. You might go for it. I'm not sure. We're going to go for it, baby. You already know what time it is. So my boy Robbie Clark gets stuffed in the backfield. No, he breaks a tackle, but he still doesn't get enough for the first down. That was a gussy call, but I felt like it was the right one, man. It's the BCS bowl game, baby. You got to pull out all the stops. And Jones is going crazy on us already, man. Like I said, yo, this dude isn't one of the top running backs for no reason, bro. So a fake handoff from Andrews. And he gets that thing to Hines, his top receiver, for a nine-yard reception. So it's second and one right now. And Andrews hands it off to Jones, and Jones is in the end zone for the first touchdown today. 
I hope that's the last time we have to say that, man. Let's go. So out here, late in the first quarter, the Gamecocks are back at it again. And Jones, who takes a big one that time. That's how we got to play him. We got to shut him up, man. And Andrews goes down for a sack. So third and 16, baby. A chance to get these guys off the field. We got to get some points on the board. So Andrew takes a shot. Can we get the pick in Hines? Oh, my goodness. Hines caught that 44-yard reception, man. We've been getting killed lately on these jump balls, bro. So let's see what we got here. Second and nine. Andrews will roll out. And he has some burners. And look at him, man, making guys miss. And they're going to be at the goal line. So third and goal here. They're going to hand it off to Jones. And it's another touchdown, baby. Two touchdowns for Jones here in the first quarter. We're down 14-0. It's getting pretty scary for us. So Clark is out here, baby. Let's see what we got. He takes a shot. Too much air up under that one. And they deflected it. So second and 10. We're going to give it to my boy Riley up the gut. And Riley found some room to the edge. And he's moving, but not enough speed to get away from the DB. So we're going to go up the gut again on 34. And Riley fumbles. Come on. And Miller picks it up. Can we tackle him? And Miller is off to the races at the 10. And it's going to be another touchdown. 21-0. to zero. Derek Miller, the strong safety in the right place at the right time. Those Gamecocks are playing great defense. That's that SEC defense like we were saying earlier, man. This team is not to be played with. So we got to get on our horses right now. We got to do something. So Robbie is out here. One minute and 30-something seconds left in the first quarter. He finds Branch. Finally, finally. We looking like we could do something. Only 22 total yards right now. We got to get more. And there go they. We're going to start throwing these deep balls. Got to get back into this one very quick. So let's go. So back at it again. Robbie takes a hit. My goodness. They're sending the house. We got to be a little more careful. So empty backfield set here. We got to get it off pretty quick. And Robbie throws it. And he finds Anderson. And Anderson has the speed to get away from the defense. And it's going to be a touchdown, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 53 yards. My boy Robbie finally, finally got us in the end zone. That is beautiful. So only down by two scores here. We're going to hit him with a screen play. And Robbie takes another hit, bro. This game caught defense hurt Robbie last year. And we're not going to let it happen again this year. So Robbie takes a shot this time. He finds Robinson and Thomas Robinson with a big grab. Let's go, baby. See if we can get another score before halftime. So we're going to hand this thing off to Riley. And Riley, reading his blocks, got us a good seven yards there. So we're going to hit him with a read option this time. And Clark kept it. And that's what I'm talking about. Robbie gets us a first down. And we're moving it, baby. Going up the gut once again. They've been giving us a hard time running the ball. But we're finally getting it going. And another big six-yard rush there. And we got an empty backfield set. The last time we did this, we got a touchdown. So Robbie had some time. But took too long to get rid of it, man. They're putting that punishment on him, baby. We got to get rid of it. So we're going to kick a field goal. Bleed love. I believe we can get us at least three points here, baby. And the field goal is good. And we're only down by 11. So one minute left. We can score here, man. We can score before half. That would give us a four-point deficit. We got to get something. So a big hit there on the first play, man. My boy Robbie, man, like I said, been taking the punishment. And he finally gets it to Robinson and Robinson. 25 yards on that reception so Robbie with it once again takes a deep shot and it's Williams Ooh, he pulls it down finally we want to jump ball that's a five-star recruit for you that's what he does baby pulls that thing down and miss the defense and we ready to go so 28 seconds left my boy Robbie Clark is rolling out he got rid of that one, but it was pretty scary. I thought that was going to be an interception. So we're going to run the ball with my boy Riley, and he got some room to the edge, and it's going to be a touchdown. Like I said, baby, 
only down by four points here at halftime and we ready to come out here in the third quarter man we came back we fought our way back after being down by three scores and look at Williams again winning jump balls and just throw it up there coach Jason Williams has arrived he will give us the best chance to win my boy Robbie threw it out there on the run took a hit and Jason Williams has the awareness to pull it down baby go up there and grab it out of the sky so we're gonna hand that thing off to Riley and Riley gets us a nice six yard rush baby Riley can run that ball he is very patient and Robbie is back there with it and he gets it to Robinson but whoa that's a hard hit and Riley couldn't get us the first down there on fourth down and we had to turn the ball back over to those guys but here late in the third quarter we got another chance for a score and my boy Riley gets us a big seven yard rush so we coming back with the slants again here on third down he gets that thing to branch and we get the first down there by inch baby so we're gonna hand that thing up the gut again to my boy Riley. You know he can read those blocks. And yes, sir. You try to stand him up, bro. You try to stand him up. So seven yards on that one. And we got a chance to get first down right here. And my boy Riley does get the first down. So Clark with it again across the middle. Found Wims. Oh, I thought Wims was gonna break that tackle and take off. So it's gonna be 31 here. So we're gonna fake the handoff. My boy Robbie got it, and he gets us a first down. So five yards on that carry. We moving it, baby. So Robbie Clark back with it again. Empty backfield. He rolling, and he throws it across the middle, and Branch pulls that one down. Took a hard hit, so third and two. We're going to hit him with this play action fake here. Play action fake. Robbie Clark had some time, and oh, my goodness. Archer almost ended it for us. So we got another chance here on 4 for 2. We're going to give it up the gut to Alexander. And Alexander gets us a first down. Boy, we live to fight another day. 5 minutes and 35 seconds left here. And Robbie Clark takes a shot. And he gets that thing to branch. And we get a first down. First and goal. We going up the gut with Robbie here. And Robbie may be able to get into the end zone, but not enough there. Only two yards. Second and goal. We got a couple more tries. And hand that thing off to Riley. And we finally, finally take the lead. And Riley gets us on the board. And it's going to be 24 to 21 in the fourth quarter. We fought our way back. Shut these guys out. They scored 21 points in the first quarter and nothing else ever since then we scored 24 unanswered so they're going to come back out here and try to get a score at least three points we're not going to let tony andrews get much going so tony andrews takes a shot and he finds weaver and okay might be talking a little too fast so he out in the shotgun once again and he has some room but not enough not enough room to get rid of it and we take them out baby that's what i'm talking about lee martin with the big sack that's a huge sack so second and 18 they got a long way to go so we're gonna lead these guys in coverage three deep and jones no sub we let you get five that time but you're gonna need to get 13 this time to get this first down and it's a false start from the big office alignment these guys are freezing up here late in the game and push them back another five yards so jones that five yards you got them it, it don't matter now sir and andrews takes a shot across the middle and yes sir that was a incomplete pass we broke it up great defense so we have a chance to sit on it here so my boy riley will take the handoff and not much going there only two yards we're gonna keep it going though so we're gonna try to pass the ball here to get this first down so robbie feels the pressure he's rolling out and robbie will tuck it and he's moving and he slid that time and we will have a chance at a 30 inches i believe we can get it let's see what we can get here and robbie will tuck it this time and slides again the maturity of the quarterback he knows what to do he was ready to get his rematch against the game cox and he stepped up to the plate and let's go so reese is in here now man you know reese coming in the fourth quarter with those fresh legs those fresh legs from reese he will give us a great shot and he gets us another first down and Reese is doing his thing, baby. So we're going to hit him with another pass here. Robbie is rolling. But he should have got rid of that one. Took a hit. I hope he's okay. So they're going to try to call timeout here. 
and get their team fired up here on this third down. Robbie drops back, takes a shot, a quick one, and Williams pulls down another, another magnificent catch, 19 yards. That would give him 112 yards on four catches, baby. So first and 10, hand that thing off to Reese, and Reese is moving. Got us two yards only. I thought he had more than that, but we're going to hand it off to him once again. And Reese, not much going on there, third and six. Only 37 seconds left now. We're going to hand it off to him. And he gets blown up in the backfield. But the Gamecocks don't have any more timeout. And we will walk out with the Sugar Bowl victory. Our first ever BCS Bowl win in school history, man. It took us seven seasons to get here. The next stop is a national championship. It's been a long grind, man. It's been a long grind. I remember when we started this dynasty. And now we're... One of the top teams in the nation. Whoa, whoa. That was a beautiful comeback for us. Probably the best comeback I've had in a long time on this game. And we're looking to go up from here, baby. So Robbie Clark capped off his senior season, his career here at Furman, with a heroic comeback. One touchdown, no interceptions, 299 yards. He did his thing, baby. He did his thing. So Riley... 17 carries, 55 yards, not his best game, but he got us two on the ground, baby. Two touchdowns. That was beautiful. My boy Thomas didn't do much. That defense from the Gamecocks, hey, they can shut down the running game anytime they want. And the receivers, Branch had five catches. They had four. Williams had four, but Williams had 112 yards, yo. Two huge catches from this dude that changed the game for us. And Robinson, two catches for 54 yards. And yeah, that dude is a monster. You already know it. And both of those guys will be coming back next year, so I feel sorry for the Sun Belt. And the defense, Martin had a sack. Peterson had a sack. Scott had a sack. McCutcheon had a sack. Hey, we did our thing today, baby. We did it. And I appreciate you guys for riding along with us, man. Capping off one of our best seasons. It, that was our best season yet, bro. Only lost one game. Next year, we're going to try to go undefeated. And I appreciate all of the support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hit that like button, that notification bell. And the next episode, we will be going through the offseason and the preseason. And trying to get gear up for year eight, baby. Ready to get gear up. I'll holla at y'all boys then. One. Let's get it.